Hi, it's Victor Kim, and welcome to our midweek meditation. It's good to be with you. I want to begin this week's meditation with a question, and that question is, what difference does it make? What difference does believing in Jesus, what difference does faith in God make? And I guess if we don't have an answer to that question, we're going to have a tough time as Christians, as the church, being relevant for anyone especially in these uncertain and ambiguous days of COVID reality. You know, will, will believing in God make wars cease? Will believing in Jesus make COVID or cancer disappear? Will it make our financial situations stable? Will it lower inflation? Will it make our kids listen to us for a change? You know, we want evidence of God's power, God's presence in the world and, and in our lives. Lots of people do. But it seems that the only evidence, the only evidence we get of power and authority too often in our world comes in the form of tanks or cruise missiles or bombs, comes in the form of corporate interests or political lobby groups, comes in the interest of, of wealth the very, very wealthy. You want to see something that makes a difference? Look at what more money than you could ever possibly spend can get you, right? Every imaginable luxury, nothing denied to you, the finest education, the biggest houses behind gates in the safest neighborhoods, the best healthcare coverage, no waiting in line, influence and impact with powerful people, people of all stripes. These are the things that make a difference. These are the things that make a difference in our world, right? Things like power, profit, prestige. This coming Sunday is Palm Sunday, and we will hear the story of Jesus entering Jerusalem in what's called the triumphal entry. And I've got to say it's anything but triumphal if you really look at it. I mean, Jesus rides into Jerusalem on the back of a donkey, a donkey. I mean, it's ridiculous. He's on the wrong animal, if you want to call it a triumphal entry. And soon enough, the people who line the road with their cloaks and wave palm branches and shout Hosanna, their cries of Hosanna will change to crucify, crucify. Soon enough they'll be disillusioned with Jesus because he won't seem to make any difference for them. What a disappointment. What a disappointment. And, you know, and I've got to believe that if Jesus disappointed the people of Jerusalem those 2,000 years or, or so ago, he's surely going to be disappointment. He's surely going to disappoint our modern sensibilities even more today. Where is God? Where is your God? Our critics would assail us. What difference does God make, they demand. And maybe, maybe we're left, maybe you're left without an answer for your critics. But then again, maybe we've just got it all wrong, right? I mean, what difference did Jesus dying on the cross make? And if you're expecting liberation from the oppression, if you were there expecting liberation from the oppression of Roman bondage, a return to the glorious heydays of the kingdom of David. Well, Jesus would have made no difference at all. He would have made no difference at all. But, if he, but for those who experienced the liberation from the oppression and bondage of sin, this advent, this coming of the kingdom of God, well, it would have made all the difference in the world. But, you know, the kingdom of God its presence and its power isn't manifested in tanks and bond, bombs, stocks and bonds, governments and bureaucracies. Its presence is manifested in peace, in truth, and in love. God's power is the power to heal, the power to forgive, to bring peace and assurance despite the uncertainty and the ambivalence and the ambiguity of our world. God's power is the power to change expectations, to change us, and to change how we see the world. Remember the young donkey colt on which Jesus 
road into Jerusalem? You know, it's interesting that Mark's gospel records Jesus saying to his disciples, go into the village and you're going to find a colt tied there, which no one has ever ridden. That's important, right? No one has ever ridden. Those words are vital to our, to our understanding of the text and to understanding what was happening as Jesus entered into Jerusalem. The city. The city had known others who had come through their gates, others who had come through in triumph as conquerors, as heroes, as kings, as princes, mounted, riding their huge horses of war. But never, never had they known anyone who had entered their gates on the back of a young donkey colt. This colt had never been ridden. This had never been done before. Jesus does a new thing. Jesus does a new thing. He changes the whole notion of what a king is, what a king does, what a true king, what the king of kings is all about. This king comes riding on a colt, breaking convention, defying expectations, you know, and we've got the wrong expectations. We've got the wrong expectations if we believe that in order, that in order for God to be powerful, that God must rid the world of all pain and all suffering. We've got the wrong expectations if we believe that God's authority must be evidenced by bulldozing all opposition, all evil, all sin. We have the wrong expectation if we believe that a loving God would never allow our loved ones to die of cancer or struggle of COVID, to die of war and violence, of addiction and homelessness. You know, so what, what difference does Jesus make? What difference does faith in God make? Well, I think the key is this. Unless we're willing to be redefined, unless we're willing to be redefined by the authority of Christ, it won't make any difference at all. It won't make any difference at all. But if we are willing to be changed in our expectations and in our perspective, and if we see that a change in human behavior, a change in societal patterns, changes in relationships and priorities, in conflict resolution, in economic justice, and every other human problem always begins with a change in us, a change in the human heart, a change in what we live for and who we live for. If we believe that, then we'll know, we'll know that the triumphal entry of Jesus, the triumphal entry of Jesus into Jerusalem was truly, truly triumphant because it signaled the beginning of the end, right? The defeat of the powers of sin and evil, of darkness and death. Because Jesus gave his life on the cross, because, his, because he gave his life for us, because peace truth, and love were the methods of his authority. Because by his actions, he did a new thing. He changed everything. The reality is, is that Jesus makes all the difference in the world. He makes all the difference in the world. What difference does believing in Jesus make? For those who know him personally, for those who have faith in him, Jesus makes all the difference in the world. And really the question the real question is how then will the difference that Jesus has made in my life, in your life, in our lives, help us then to make a difference in and for our world? That's the question. I'll tell you the difference Jesus makes for me. I know that in the midst of this ambiguous, uncertain, sometimes scary world that I am deeply and wonderfully loved. I am deeply and wonderfully loved. In a world which too often seems full of violence and anger, too polarized and too full of rage, I am the child of a loving God. I'm the child of a loving God. God loves us so much that God gave God's very life for us. And because Jesus gave his life, we have new life, redeemed life, restored life, true life. And I'm free. I'm free to spend that life because I know 
in whose love and in whose arms I'm held because I know that I am deeply and wonderfully loved. I'm free to spend that life without fear, without worry. I'm free to spend it for the sake of the kingdom, the kingdom of God, for the sake of the peace that Jesus preached and lived out. I'm free to make a difference in the world for the sake of love. I pray that the entrance of Jesus into our world, armed only with peace and truth and love, I pray that that will move us and guide us as we also enter into the needs and the hurts and the disappointments, the suffering and the pain of our world with peace and truth and love, with the peace, truth, and love of Jesus. This coming week, Jesus will enter Jerusalem on the back of a donkey colt, something new, something different. The world may still ask what difference Jesus makes, but my friends, for those of us who know, for those of us who believe, he makes all the difference in the world, doesn't he? Thanks be to God for that. I want to leave you with a very, very beautiful musical meditation by Dr. Gianni Bordetti, our music director. This is Sonata in A Major by Scarlatti. Have a wonderful week. We'll see you again soon. God bless you.